Today's video is going to be a little different. Some people may agree with me, some people may not agree with me. But I just wanted to talk about the Sukihana and uh, why... What's, what the hell is this young man's name? YK Osiris. If you don't know, YK Osiris is a hot water right now because he forced a kiss or two kisses, right? On Sukihana. If you know who Sukihana is, you know the type of music Sukihana makes. I'm not finna sit here and victim blame. I'm not finna blame Sukihana because what YK Osiris did was some weird. Shit. I'm not gonna lie. It's some weird, weird old. Shit. But the energy you give out is the energy you attract to yourself. Alright, so the whole internet been posting this, but they just been posting just the clip of him um attempting to kiss her twice, which is weird old vibes. If you see the things leading up to that, it was flirtatious energy. Think about it this way, right? Imagine you have a coworker that y'all always be, you know, flirting and doing all that and she just be teasing you and all that. All that shit she talking. You take her up on that. And then she take you to the the HR office and say sexual harassment. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying what he did was right. But the whole energy was everybody was joking. She was, she what she said? She said, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to turn you out. And, and he took it there. Fool, he finna lose his career over that too. Because some girl, some shorty just came out and said, hey, man, he, he been doing that to me behind closed doors. Sukiana, I just want to say this. I'm empathetic towards you. And I'm also envious of you because luckily for you, the things that happened to you happened in a space where it was public and it eventually made it to the internet so people could see exactly what type of person an individual is. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, right? I know the topic of this video is, you know, sexual harassment and a sexual assault but I I'm watching her and I <laughs> it's so wrong for what I'm finna say because it's not the right time for this but does she have a like and the reason why I'm envious is because a person like me that experienced the same exact thing with the same person didn't get the opportunity to show the whole world the things that were said, that were done to me individually behind closed doors. And because this person likes to get on the internet and cry and make it seem like he's such a person that just can't do any wrong, I didn't want to look like a person who was just clout chasing or lying. But let it be known that now that it's all over the internet, this is nothing new or nothing shy of behavior that I have experienced myself. Now, we don't know if she's telling the truth or she's not. And my thing is, if he been doing that to you and you've just been bothered by it, why even come out and say nothing? Why Why Kale Cyrus ain't nobody to be scared of? I'm going to be real with you. He ain't holding no weight in the industry like that to where if you come out and say, hey, man, he sexually assaulted me, like, the world is just going to come down on you. No. If he sexually assaulted you, you should have said something. Don't wait now. To me too, the, don't wait now to me too, the man. Like, that's how I feel about that. Like, why didn't you say something before? Okay? Now, I'm not victim, I'm not victim shaming. A lot of times when I do these videos and I try to, like, be real about the whole situation, people say I'm victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming. 
Okay, I'm not a victim shame. But I will say that the energy that Suki Hana give off, the music she make, you know, it's a lot of dudes probably running around in the industry can't wait to run into her. I make that pussy spit, and I know it do. I, I watched you walk in this mother. So you can tell by my walk. I can tell by your walk that pussy spit. Hey, you a country? Where you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Camden Road to be exact. <laughs> he from the hood. He from the hood. From the hood. You say Suki with the good coochie, you know what I'm saying? You talking about her good. That you can smell all it. We can go to the bank and I can come back and you give You want to smell my ass? I want to. I might put my tongue down it. Oh my gosh, A1. But we're going to start with the sniffing of it. You are aggressive. She love that. Man, look at her. She <laughs> I, like that old no, shit. No, I don't. You love that. No, I mean, after like during sex, maybe, but you know, that's not, not, not right now. <laughs> nah, all that shit you talk. You done met your match. I'm here. What's up? So listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This man. Okay. <laughs> Five inches is a huge <laughs> to me. Five that's, inches? Yeah, that's big to me. No, okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's super big. I love that size. That's, I know my mom used to say she... Hold on, cut. I know this th This video is supposed to be kind of serious, but she just said that. Then she just made me feel like motherfucking... Um, like Wesley Pipes out this month. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm sorry. See what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, that, you you can't be saying shit like that. <sighs> I used to say she'd rather be tickled than be stabbed. Because I'm, no, seriously, because you know, some people got all that and they just be down and stabbing. This man, he, he pulled out a whole picture and showed her. He showed her the meat. He pulled out a picture and showed her the meat. I'm telling y'all, these dudes ain't going to play with y'all. They ain't going to play with you, Sukiyana. Yo, I can only imagine what her DMs look like. I can only imagine what her DMs look like. The energy you give off is the energy that comes back to you. So, baby girl, if you want to keep making that type of music you're making, high security. My wife used to always talk about Sukiyana. She said, I love Sukiyana's energy. I love Sukiyana's energy. I just love the confidence she carry herself with. And I'm like, who the hell is Sukiyana? And then I did a reaction video about Sukiyana uh, saying that she would holler at Dr. Umar. And that was actually my first time really seeing who she is. So I'm like, All right, let me look her up. And then I played a song. And I'm like, oh, she scares me. She scares me. Like... Jesus. Now, I don't know if y'all ever seen those memes where they say, I bet if I put you in a room with her, you're going to fold. She'll be... <laughs> the type of stuff she was talking about on her song, dog. A lot of y'all going to fold. And what we looking at and what we seeing is men folding in front of our eyes. They ain't even waiting to be in a room with her alone. They folding. Why Osiris? Folded. 